Welcome to my Easter Tulip Vase tutorial. Hiya. Um, I'm going to be making some Easter flowers today because I'm going to start decorating the house for Easter. And I have been shopping this morning and bought some of these lovely mixed bunches of tulips. They were 3 49 I think there's 10 stems in there. So they were really, really good value. I bought three bunches. I've gone and got three of the cube vases out from um, my workroom. I've got just some empty, just old jars and lots and lots of lovely raffia. And I'm just going to make an Easter look, making like a trio of vases. Um, I've also had some uh, lovely purple birch in my workroom, left over from a job that I did a while ago. So I'm going to use a little bit of that just to keep it really bright. So um, what I'm going to do first of all, actually, is fill this vase this is going to be an outer vase with an inner vase to hold the water so i'm going to fill this vase with raffia and um, you can buy packs of raffia i saw raffia today um in the shops and you can buy packs of raffia i saw it in um home bargains i think it was when i went in there and um i'm just going to put it roughly not very neatly into each cube bars and then just make a hole in the center and pop one of my jars into the hole just so that it sits in there and you can hardly see it I might just take a little tiny bit more and just wrap it round and just pop that in the very top it looks nice if there were bits poking out all over the place um, and then once your jar is in there you can really carefully fill it with water now the tulips are going to go in here so don't fill it right up to the top because tulips have got very dense stems and they take up a lot of room and it'll overflow then and give you soft soggy raffia so that's one of them already to have its tulips in so all I'm going to do is just loosely hand tie the tulips to cut down into the, the uh, container. Now I don't want them too long so I'm going to take just probably the bottom leaf off of every tulip, just pull it away from the stem gently and that should just come off fairly easily. You don't have to worry too much about tulip leaves being in the water and turning the um, water dirty because these are very glossy almost like sort of succulent leaves they hold a lot of moisture in their leaves tulips you'll probably find um, as time goes on with a tulip arrangement that the tulips will grow because they just continue growing even though they are um, cut so every now and then I tend to kind of take the tulips out freshen the water rearrange them back into the, the bars. I really like the ones that go wild everywhere and just look really wavy and lovely but sometimes these these varieties tend to just stick straight up so sometimes I just sort of loosen them off a bit just to make them look a little bit more sort of free flowing. So I have got some stems of this purple birch that I'm going to put in between the tulips and then all I'm going to do is just really roughly hand tie the tulips into my hands. I'm not going to put any foliage with these. These are one of the very few flowers that I really love just as they are, just not any foliage in between them. And then I'll just put my stems of birch in so that they're poking out the top quite a lot. If you can see them there. And keeping the tulips at a similar height to each other. And then as the tulips curve, put them in so that the curve comes out the side, not in, and then that will give you a nice wide hand tie. The tulip foliage makes it a lot easier to hand tie than other flowers, but tulips get really, really soft when they get hot. So try not to handle them too much. Try to just hand tie them quickly, put them into the bars, because if you just keep handling them, these stems are going to get really hot, go very limp, and then it's hard to kind of get the firmness back after that, especially when it's so warm like it is this week. So that's all I'm going to do. Just hand time like that. So I was 
putting my stems in in the same direction every time um going spiraling around the same way don't come back on yourself always the same way and it will give you this lovely spiral at the bottom which will keep them nice and firm so then i'm going to just tie them off with a little bit of raffia just to make it easier for me to cut because i'm probably going to have to do a few attempts at cutting these down because they'll have to be really really short but i don't like to chop lots and lots off until i know the rough size so i'll pull my bars back over because the jar is inside it's a little bit harder to to measure i'm going to go about here on my tulips just chop off the ends and as I say, these will grow again, so you will want them fairly short into the vase. Okay, I think that's quite a good height for those ones. And then once I've chopped them, I am going to, I like them to be sort of quite loose in the vase, so I am going to take this tie off now. I know it seems a bit of a waste of time tying them and then taking it back off again. But it's fine if you feel like you can hold them tightly enough. But I always find that they end up moving. So I tend to um, tie them off just to make sure that I've got a good spread on them and that they don't just sort of flop around as I'm trying to tie them. Okay, so then I'm just going to ease them out a little bit just to kind of bring them out a little bit wider. And then we've got one of our little Easter vases there. And I'm going to carry on and make the other two. My daughter helped me with the last two arrangements. I just told her to keep the heads of the tulips roughly level in the hand tides and the stems going in the same direction. They turned out beautifully. So that's it. We have three lovely tulip vases finished and looking pretty in our kitchen. I hope you found this useful. Hit subscribe or click on the next video to see more flower tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.